everyone. Welcome to another Excel video. This one is about sorting. So I have here some data. This is data for a stock. As you can see, I've got date here, year here, the price it opens, the high price of the day, the low price of the day, the price it closed at, and the volume of shares. And there's a rather lot of data here. There's about this goes down to 3,000 here. So it starts here at 2006, and it goes down here to 2017. So there's about 11 years worth of data here. Let's say we want to know the date at which the closing price was the lowest. There's a couple ways to do that, but one easy way to do it is to sort the data. So one piece of advice I can't just highlight here because then it will organize the close column and leave everything else the same and that won't tell us anything. I need to highlight the whole thing. Of course you could just click on A, B, C, D, E, F, and G and just highlight the whole columns that way also. So for sort we want to go here to data and there is a lovely sort button right here. We click on it we could sort by date, but it pretty much is sorted by date, so that's not really going to help us. But notice we could do that, sort by date. We could sort from oldest to newest or the newest to the oldest. What we want to know is what's the lowest closing date. So let's sort by close and smallest to largest. So that will give us the order in which the closings are the, the closing amount is lowest and it'll just keep going higher. Now maybe there's more than one date at which it's the smallest. Maybe it was, I don't know, 24.3 is the smallest and that happened on two different times, once in 2008 and once in 2015. We don't know that. So we could add a level and we could say then sort by date. So we would know from oldest to newest or newest to oldest depending on which we wanted to do we could have a list of the dates at which it's that same price if there's indeed more than one where it's a minimum so we hit OK by the way we can add as many levels as we want we can delete levels after we add them and decide we don't want them notice this box here my data has headers we do that when we have highlighted this top row, which I did, you'll notice, but we don't want it to count that top row in its ordering. So I click this box that says my data has headers and it knows that top row or labels and we don't have to worry about it. So I hit OK and now I know what the lowest price is, the, the, the lowest closing price was eight dollars and ninety five cents on eleven twenty two thousand and eight now this works I can order any one of these columns but if I want to do something more complicated than that now I can go here to advanced now before I do advanced we're gonna to have to set up the criteria so one of the things about advanced is the header we're going to use has to match the header here. So the easiest way to do that is copy. So I'm going to copy close and I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to do it again. Copy close and put it here. Now let's say we want to know all the times that the closing price was less than or equal to 50 and greater than or equal to 40. So this will tell us all of the closing prices between 40 and 50. Okay, so the way we're going to do that once again, we're going to highlight all of these. I'm just going to highlight the columns this time, save myself some trouble. I'm going to click here where it says Advanced. 
So I have a couple of choices here. I can filter the list in place or I can copy to another location. I'm just going to leave it in place. Here's my list range, A1 to G3020. So A1 to the last one of the G's, that whole block. These dollar signs, by the way, mean, if you'll recall, means don't change these letters and numbers. Then criteria range. I'm going to click here. My criteria range is going to start from J1 to K2. And I click back here. And I'm going to hit OK. Now you'll notice it is indeed showing me all the ones where the closing date is between 40, the closing price rather, is between 40 and 50. So if you want to do you want to sort something where there's more than one criteria, like greater than and less than, you know, between something. Then advanced sort works beautifully. Otherwise, you can just go do regular sort. And you'll notice this is only a small bit of my information. If I want it all back, I just hit clear. And now I have all of them again. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.